What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with week number 13 of our Oakland Raiders franchise. Today, the Raiders are getting ready to take on the St. Louis Rams, trying to end this losing streak that we have been on. We get Derek Carr back, and that should be huge for us. Without him, we have struggled greatly to move the offense down the field to make plays happen. But getting him back, you know, it should breathe some life into this offense. At least that's what we're hoping for. So we can kind of maybe turn the last part of the season around. We're already out of the playoffs. There's no chance of that, really, unless some miracle happens. Um, but we can still salvage the season somewhat, get some good experience with wins for some of your younger, younger players. Let's go ahead and look at the Rams lineup. Sam Bradford leading the way. Sean Hill will be his backup. Zach Stacy and Trey Mason are going to be the running backs. Montel Owens at fullback. Kenny Britt, Austin Pettis, Brian Quick, Tavon Austin, Chris Givens at wide receiver. They have some... Uh, you know, young players with a lot of experience. I don't know how much that makes sense. But Jared Cook at tight end, a very, very good player. A huge weapon because his speed could definitely burn my linebackers. Something we've struggled with throughout the season anyway. Defensively, their defensive line is great. They have playmakers all over. Robert Quinn is phenomenal. Uh, linebackers, they have some veterans that can make plays. And at uh, quarterback, you know, they're a little more inexperienced. But they definitely have big play type of guys. So I need to watch out for pick sixes. Uh, definitely need to watch where I'm throwing the ball throughout this game. Let's go ahead and get this one underway, though, to see if the Raiders can pick up a win here. And kicking this off, this one looks like it is going to go to Jones. Taiwan Jones hasn't returned many kicks this season, taking it up and only gets to about the 16-yard line. The Bruce Ellington injury really hurting us there. Right off the bat, Denarius Moore on the left side of the field, a gain of three yards. Carr now on the left side again. Armani Edwards first down, just like that, and that is what the Raiders have missed. Maurice Jones drew up the middle for two there. Second and eight on the left side, Armani Edwards once again. No gain, though. Third and eight for Derek Carr and the Raiders, and he overthrows, so he's a little bit rusty here. That could have been a first down completion, uh, but as the Rams take over, Jared Cook, a nice reception up to the 27-yard line. Now, Zach Stacy runs for about two. There's going to be a holding on the play, though, so first and 18 for the Rams. Nowhere to go as pressure was coming on Bradford. They hand it off there, and he actually loses some yards. Third and 24 now for the Rams, trying to make something happen, and wide open is Jared Cook. That is what I was concerned about. The coverage has been really bad. And a huge play by the Rams to get the first down. Now at the 50-yard line, second and seven. An off or a, a false start penalty for the Rams. It's going to make it second and 12. Bradford dropping back, and he finds Zach Stacy fighting his way for that first down, and he will get it. First and 10, Stacy again on the left side. Uh, second and five now after the five-yard gain there. And Brian Quick breaking one tackle, breaking two tackles, fighting his way for the first down, and he will get it. First and ten for Sam Bradford. Precious coming. He gets the ball off quickly to Zach Stacy. That's going to be a gain of seven, second and three. Wide open Jared Cook. There had to have been a huge breakdown in coverage. Nobody was within ten yards of Jared Cook on that play. And he will make the Raiders pay as the Rams take an early seven-nothing lead. Derek Carr taken back over. Almost throws an interception there. Gets very lucky. Edwards cannot hold on to that pass. Third and 10 now. Pressure's coming, and he will get the ball off, but it will fall incomplete, giving the Rams the ball back immediately. Zach Stacy, nowhere to go, loses the yard. Second and 11 for Bradford in the Rams. Plenty of time in the pocket, and he gets the ball off to Kenny Britt. You give any quarterback that much time, and eventually they will find somebody to throw it to. Kenny Britt making the Raiders pay there. Now Bradford's going to run the ball and pick up about six yards. Second and four, pressure's coming, and he will not escape pressure this time. Lamar Woodley making the play. Third and 12, intercepted Keith McGill. This could be a pick six, the 30, 20, 10, 5 touchdown. Raiders, the rookie cornerback, making a huge play there. And just like that, it is a tie ball game. Keith McGill stepping up. That is why we have been giving him uh, so many hours uh in our pregame practices, and it worked out for us there. First and ten after a huge play by the Rams. Zach Stacy is going to run for four more. Second and six. Bradford, plenty of time in the pocket. Another completed pass. Zach Stacy has been incredible out of the backfield receiving the ball in today's game. Brian Quick making a nice first down reception. The wide receiver from Appalachian State. First and ten. Bradford on the left side. He's going to find Tavon Austin. He cannot hold on to the ball. Usama Young knocking it out of his hand. Got to love that play there. Trey Mason with the reception now. And it's going to be third and one for the Rams. And Austin Pettis picking up the first down as the first quarter ends. First and goal. Sam Bradford running into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. 14-7. to They will have the lead. 
Bradford is capable of running, but it's certainly something you do not see a lot of as uh, he makes the Raiders' defense pay for being lazy there. Maurice Jones Drew and the Raiders take him back over about a six-yard gain there, second and four. Another bad pass by Derek Carr. That rust is really starting to show. Denarius Moore will pick up the clutch first down after the third and four possession there. Maurice Jones Drew right up the middle is going to pick up about four, second and six. Derek Carr almost intercepted right there. Third and six for Derek Carr. Pressure's coming. He gets the ball off the Reese. Reese has a blocker ahead him he is going down the field across midfield down to about the 36 yard line of ram territory a huge play by the fullback there making the rams defense pay a three yard run second and seven on the left side maurice jones drew will catch it for a gain of about six third and three not six just a few yards third and three they will pick up the first down maurice jones drew this time nowhere to go second and ten for the raiders Derek carr finds denarius moore again he is going to take it down to the 15 yard line third and four marcel reese fighting for that first down and he will get it. Maurice Jones Drew gets stuffed right off the bat there. Second and nine. Derek Carr looking for the end zone and he finds James Jones who falls just short. They are on the one yard line. A handoff to McFadden into the end zone. Touchdown for the Raiders. James Jones couldn't capitalize. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see him uh, but he did make a huge play setting up that touchdown. 14 to 14 now. Kenny Britt with a nice reception up to the 40 yard line. Bradford time in the pocket finds Jared Cook who is making the Raiders defense pay heavily right now first and 10 for the uh, Rams Austin Pettit or Tavon Austin I'm sorry I saw Austin Tavon Austin making the play there Bradford pressures coming he gets the ball off to Austin again Austin fighting his way for about a 10 yard gain second and inches Zach Stacy will pick up the first down on the very next play Trey Mason this time fighting off one tackle gaining about four second and six another handoff here going for the end zone going to fall short at the three yard line third and two four the Rams pressure is coming and Bradford will break one sack but he throws the ball incomplete the Rams are gonna have to settle for a field goal after getting down to the three yard line but they will take a 17 to 14 lead the Raiders have time to make something happen here before half and that's not the way to get it going second and 10 for Derek Carr down the field almost intercepted that could have been huge third and 10 for Derek Carr once again shooting it down the field Another dropped interception by the Rams, but they will get the ball back. And Zach Stacy with a nice run on the left side is going to pick up about six yards, second and four. Bradford with time in the pocket, but not enough as pressure eventually gets to him. Khalil Mack getting his first sack of the year, guys. It's been a while. Uh, we were definitely hoping to see more production from him, but he got a sack there, and I loved it. Second and three. Now Denarius Moore fighting off the tackle to get the first down. A huge play there. Uh, just under a minute to go for the Raiders here. Rod Streeter is going to make a nice reception out in the 48-yard line of Ram territory. So they were within striking distance. Armati Edwards with a nice grab. Second in inches. Maurice Jones drew. They have one last play before half or maybe two. They need to spike the ball. He can knock it out of bounds. And they're not going to have time to spike the ball. So he's going to throw it, bat it down. And a huge missed opportunity by the Raiders there. They could have gotten a field goal. But poor clock management on the Raiders part is going to send us into halftime down three 14 to 17 to the Rams here are the first half stats guys I will see you in the second half Rams will have the ball to start the second half and Zach Stacy loses a yard right off the bat San Bradford now on the right side will find Austin Pettis a gain of about three yards third and seven for Sam Bradford and the Rams and he finds Kenny Britt picking up a huge first down for the Rams a little handoff to Trey Mason the rookie here fighting his way picking up about 11 yards gotta love the effort from the rookie on the left side now Tavon Austin will break one tackle and he could be gone they have one more guy to catch him and they will not do it Tavon Austin's speed is too great touchdown for the Rams and that is why they drafted him last year his speed can make defenses pay quickly and it made the Raiders defense pay there miscommunication with the receiver there is going to fall incomplete so the Rams have a 24 to 14 lead after an eight yard run McFadden up the middle picking up the first down trying to get some points up on the board for the Raiders say so they do not fall out of this game a little play action for Derek Carr and that is going to be batted down third and 11 now for Derek Carr he finds Denarius Moore a huge first down receiver Reception there, a gain of about 12. Greg Little on the left side loses two, second and 12. Pressure is coming. He gets the ball off to Jones Drew, but that is going to lose two more yards. So two failed completions there. We'll give the Rams the ball back. Zach Stacy 
will have nowhere to go. Second and ten pinned back on their own four-yard line. They'll pick up a few. Third and seven now for the Rams. Bradford has pressure coming. He gets the ball off and Jared Cook once again making the Raiders defense pay in a huge critical play in the game and that will keep this Rams drive alive as Kendricks takes it down the left side of the field for a gain of 17. First and 10, Chris Givens now across that first down marker. Zach Stacy running right up the middle will pick up about three. Second and seven, Trey Mason runs into a wall of silver and black, but he breaks free. Unbelievable play by the rookie. Gotta love that effort. A gain of 20 yards there. It looked like he had nothing, but he made something out of it. Second and six, now Zach Stacy on the left side trying to break a tackle. But they are going to have none of it. Third and six now for the Rams. Pressure's coming. They get the ball off the table on Austin. Not going to be able to get into the end zone. This time, fourth and one. They will kick a field goal through the uprights, making the lead 27-14. to 14. It's still only a two-possession game, despite the fact that the Rams have all the momentum. So if the Raiders can make something happen here. They could get momentum kind of tweaking their way a little bit. Third and three. McFadden picking up the first down again. A four there. McFadden again running it up the middle. Going to gain four more. Second and six. Maurice Jones-Drew cuts back to the outside. Not going to be enough for the first. It'll bring up third and inches. He will pick it up on the next play, but barely. Great effort by the Rams defense there. McFadden on the right side. Loses the yard, or gains one yard. I'm sorry. Uh, Jones-Drew this time up the middle for a gain of seven. Now McFadden again. Not going to have enough for the first. Fourth and inches. They will go for it, and McFadden will make the first down play. First and ten as the Raiders are slowly marching down the field. Rivera with a nice catch. Second and inches for Maurice Jones Drew and he will take it down to the 24 yard line picking up the first down first and 10 on the right side McFadden has nowhere to go second and 12 after the loss of two there and Rod Streeter making a nice play across the middle gaining six yards third and seven for the Raiders and Jones picks off what could have been a first down reception it will give him fourth and inches and Jones Drew will capitalize on the next play I don't think that pass was intended for James Jones but he made it happen. Uh, McFadden now going for the end zone. He gets stuffed. So it's going to be third and goal for the Raiders on the left side. Reese not going to have enough for the first down. They are going to go for it here. Jones Drew on the outside avoids the tackle. That was a huge play by the veteran running back to get into the end zone there. Definitely looked like the Rams had the position on him. But he will make them pay 21-27. to 27. This is a one-possession game, guys. Zach Stacy on the right side. Khalil Mack will take him down. Second and eight, Bradford. Pressure is coming, and you'll find Jared Cook. Another huge play by Jared Cook. Sean Hill is actually into the game. I am sorry. Bradford went down with an injury. Second and five for Hill now. Must have missed the injury there. Hendricks, a nice juke move. To gain about 14 yards on the play. First and 10, Zach Stacy has a blocker ahead of him. He is not going to be able to make it around, though. About a three-yard gain. Second and seven, Trey Mason will not escape the Raiders' defense this time. Third and seven, a huge play, but there is a flag on the play. We have to see what this call is. It looks like it's going to be a holding. So do we accept it and maybe knock him out of field goal range but give him another chance? No, we don't. We're, we're going to let them kick a field goal. Makes it a two-possession game. Um, I really don't think we would have had time to do anything anyway, guys. I, probably a bad decision on my part. Um, but our defense has struggled. There's 30 seconds left in the game. If, even if they were to punt it, our offense hasn't been moving that great. I should have gone for it, though. It was my bad. Um, but anyway, guys, that will be it. The Raiders fall once again 21-30. to the Rams escaping victory with their backup quarterback, Sean Hill, making the plays at the end of the game. You see Bradford. He looks to be okay there. Uh, but a disappointing loss. It really is. You know, we did have a little bit more life in the offense with Derek Carr back, though. 20 of 33, 135 yards, though. I wish he had more yards out of it, but he did not throw an interception um, outside of a few bad passes, which is just I attribute to Russ. You know, he actually had an okay game. Uh, not a whole lot of success running the ball. Only 3.8 and 3.2 yards to carry, but they did each get a touchdown for McFadden and Jones Drew. Uh, passing the ball to Darius Moore. Just not a lot of yards there, guys. We really need to get more yards out of our receivers. Um, but, you know, again, it's Derek Carr coming back. He's been a little bit rusty. We need to figure something out with this offense, though. We need to start scoring more points. We, did, uh, we definitely scored more points in this game than we had before. So there was a little life in the offense. Uh, Khalil Mack getting a sack, finally. And Lamar Woodley also contributing there. And then Keith McGill, the rookie from Utah, getting the 38-yard pick six. A huge play for his confidence and experience there. I'm really excited about the player he is slowly starting to become. 
Um, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot, and I will see you guys for the next episode. Later.